It is April 3rd, 2023. And if you can see over here, I have this little pine tree in my window. And then if you look, I don't know if you can see it, but outside there's a really big pine tree. And the little pine tree I have in my window, it could get to be the size of the big pine tree that's outside from what I've been told about that kind of pine tree. I don't know for sure, but um, someone told me that it, it could just grow into a huge one like that. But in order for it to grow into a huge tree like the one outside, something needs to happen. It needs to be given space. So the little pot that that pine tree is in right now, if it stays in that little pot, it will keep going on living, but it will never grow bigger. The pot constrains its size. But if I went and I planted it in a bigger pot, it would grow a little bigger. And if I went and gave it unlimited room by planting it outside, it might grow to be like the really big tree that's out there. And this concept of giving space works for a lot of different areas in life. Relationships is one area, especially romantic relationships. If you're with someone all the time and you're always in the same space, like if you go on a road trip with someone, for example, and you're just in the car all the time together, 24 hours a day, like you never get away from each other. You might really like each other, but after a while, you would start to get annoyed with the other person and you wouldn't have that same desire you had at the beginning. So you need to give people space and relationships. And this can come in a, uh, a multitude of different ways. You know, having friends is a good way to do that. So you can spend time with other people and give uh, your mate time to spend with uh, alone or with other people themselves. It's having other interests, other hobbies, like things you do that you like that they don't necessarily like. And sure, there's things you should do together. I'm not saying totally neglect the relationship. I'm just saying create ways to inject space into there. Like even just going to a, a job or, or working on a project you're really passionate about. If you're working all day and you're not around your mate, and then you come home and they're uh, there to, to meet you, it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. You're, you're going to have that desire. Whereas if you just sat around all day and watched movies with them or something, you'd been with them all day. So it, it probably wouldn't be as meaningful as after, you know, you spent that space, that time apart, now you, you create room to, to miss each other and, and to come together in that. So in relationships, space is a big, big idea. Uh, with ideas, if you're constantly filling your mind with stimulation, you know, music and video games and TV shows, or even books with other people's ideas, if you'd never just sit with silence and allow your mind to think, you're not going to be able to generate any of your own ideas. So giving space with those is a, is a good thing to do. Um, the like even white space in, in a design environment. You know, if you go on a website and it's just packed with 
images and words and there's no room anywhere it's very like disconcerting it's not very appealing and design artists know this they create space in their layouts of of websites or magazine pages or whatever it is because that space gives it room to breathe it it, it allows it uh, it, there's just something about it that makes it more appealing to the human mind. And this idea of space is all over the place. I mean, if you look at the universe on a really large scale, stars are gigantic. Planets are gigantic. Galaxies are massive. But between the the space between those things is astronomically larger. You could fit millions of planets between stars. You could you know there's so much more space. If you look at the solar system and just the distance between the sun and each of the planets, it's massive. So the way the universe has been created has space everywhere. And then if you go down from the big picture to the, the small, like the atomic level, if you look at elements and uh, atoms and you you look at the nucleus and the protons in the electrons spinning around like physical things may seem like they're solid but if you go down to that atomic level there's actually more space in between the physical things than there is actual material actual matter so all of creation has this space. And even things like speaking. When I pause, it gives room for me to process my thoughts well and finish my sentence without adding a bunch of filler words, um, uh, 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 e, like, like, those kinds of things. And I know YouTube, not many YouTube creators use space anymore. It's like, smash cut, smash cut, smash cut. But good public speakers use a lot of space. And when you have too much of anything, it, it just gets sickening. Like the food where I'm at right now, sometimes there's something on the menu that is just kind of gross. But I figured out quickly that they have good cheeseburgers here, and that's always a default option you can choose um, for each meal and so whenever there was something that I didn't really like for the the main main menu item I just ordered the cheeseburger but because there's usually at least a few things every week that I don't like I order a lot of cheeseburgers and I've had so many of them now that it's just like ah, I don't really want to eat any more cheeseburgers for a long time and they're actually pretty good burgers like they they've got a big chunk of meat they've got all the toppings and stuff but it's just i've had so many of them that I'm, i've gotten sick of them and i need to take a break and give them space inject space into the the way i'm eating so it can be applied to so many different things and i i even see it in the way God created the world. 
He created for six days and then rested on the seventh. And he instituted the Sabbath as a rest in each part of the week. Which is why it's one of the reasons I, I practice the Sabbath. I don't think I'm earning salvation by doing it or I'm like being a good person by doing that. But it's I see it as a gift from God. It's this rest where I, I shut off devices and I'm not on social media or YouTube or anything. I'm, I'm just allowing my mind to sit in prayer and in silence and I'll, I'll often go outside and enjoy nature and just, um, and it's, it's actually refreshing and it injects space into my life. And I think God gave it for that reason, at least one of the reasons he gave it. And even like music, if you just have note after note after note after note after note, it's it might sound okay, like it sounds kind of cool if you're in a guitar solo or something, and you're like, right? But other times, you need to let the music breathe. There's actually rest notes where there's space put in between notes, and that creates rhythm, and it creates um, different emotions and, and everything in the music. It, it gives soul and character to the music. So rest is, is very important and, and it's just another way of interjecting space in between things. So rest, give things space. It's a simple principle that you can use in pretty much any area of life and it will often improve it. So that's all I got for today. Peace.